Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can install Jenny Motion on your Windows system. Now for installing Jenny Motion I'll first minimize Android Studio. I'll go inside a browser and I'll go to Jenny Motion's website which is Now once you go to Jenny Motion's website just click on the sign in option. Now, if you're a new user, you should go ahead and click on create an account. I already have an account, so I won't be creating a new account, but for new account users, just fill in a username, put in a valid email ID, put in a password. After that, in the company size, if you're just a single person, you can just choose personal use and just select your usage type. Okay, whatever usage type you want, you can just select over here. After that, once you're done with this, just click on create account. And yes, please be sure to click on I accept terms of privacy statement. Now, since I have an account already, I will just go ahead and sign into my account. So once you have signed into your account, just click on this option which says pricing. And after clicking on pricing, you will see this thing like business and enterprise. You do not need to go in this tab just click on the individual tab and after you click on the individual tab just click on the basic option and after that click on get started now after clicking on get started the jenny motion website will ask you whether you want to download jenny motion with the virtual box or whether you want to download it without the virtual box now i do not have a virtual box software so what i will do is i will just download the jenny motion with virtual box so i'll click on this option and the jenny motion will be downloaded right now in my system so now i've downloaded jenny motion over here i've copied it on my desktop and now let's start the installation process so i'll double click on jenny motion So once your Jenny motion is installed, it will now ask me to install the Oracle virtual box. So I'll click next. After that, it's showing me where the virtual box will be installed. It's in C program files Oracle virtual box. So I'll click next again. So now once you're over here, I'll click yes. Now I'll click on install to install the Oracle virtual box. So now my Oracle Virtual Box installation is complete. It says start Oracle Virtual Box 5.0.4 after installation. I'll just keep this checked. I'll click finish. I also want to launch Jenny Motion. I'll click on finish again. Okay, so my Oracle Virtual Box and Jenny Motion both have been installed successfully. So I'll just minimize the Oracle Virtual Box now. So now once I minimize Oracle Virtual Box, over here Jenny Motion is just giving me a small notice which says you can just use Jenny Motion, the free version for your personal use. Like you can build apps and you can test it on Jenny Motion, but you cannot use it as an employee, freelancer, or any kind of profit making activities. So I'll just click on accept. Now after I click accept, here's again a small window. You do not have any virtual device yet. Do you want to add one? I'll click yes. I want to add a virtual device. Now, the virtual devices will be downloaded directly from the Jenny Motion Cloud. So I'll click on sign in. So guys, now once you have signed in, you get an option to download a device. Now this device will be downloaded from the cloud basically. So I'll just be choosing one of the devices. So I'll just choose this one custom device which says custom phone which is running on 5.1.0 that's lollipop and api level is 22 if you come down you will find a variety of devices that you can choose from but currently i'll just keep it simple i'll choose a custom phone running on lollipop i'll hit next now this is basically showing me the properties of the device so i'll name my device engineers dream over here and then i'll hit next so now after clicking on next 
Jenny Motion will go ahead and download the necessary files required for this device. So guys, as you can see, Jenny Motion is showing me the virtual device has been created successfully. So I'll click on finish. So congrats guys, if you have finished the installation of Jenny Motion device on your system, you can just click on start and see how the device runs. So then as you can see Jenny Motion is been running successfully on my device and if I click on this you can basically see how fast Jenny Motion is actually. If I click on the calendar events it opens it quickly so this runs as fast as your normal smartphone. Now over here we have just finished installing Jenny Motion on your system next we need to configure Jenny Motion with your Android Studio. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll just close this Jenny Motion option over here. After that, head into Android Studio. Now, inside Android Studio, for setting up Jenny Motion with Android Studio, click on File, click on Settings. After clicking on Settings, click on this option which says Plugins. We just need to click on Browse Repositories. So, after clicking on Browse Repositories, just search for Jenny Motion. So, I've got Jenny Motion over here. I'll right click on this. I'll click on Download and Install the Plugin. Would you like to download and install Jenny Motion? I'll say yes. So, if you see over here, guys, if the plugin is installed successfully inside your system, then Jenny Motion will ask you to restart Android Studio. So, the Jenny Motion plugin is installed in my Android Studio. So, I'll click on Restart Android Studio now. So, this is asking Restart Android Studio to activate changes in plugin. I'll click on Restart again. Now after restarting Android Studio, you will see one icon over here. So this is the Jenny Motion Device Manager. I'll click on the Jenny Motion Device Manager over here. Now after clicking on the Jenny Motion Device Manager for the first time, it will bring you to this window where you need to set the path of the Jenny Motion. So just click over here. Now I had installed Jenny Motion in my C drive. So I'll go to my C drive. Now Jenny Motion will mostly be installed inside your program files. So I'll go to program files. Now inside the program files, I'll click on this option which says Jenny Mobile and I'll choose the Jenny Motion folder. So this should be your path. C program files, Jenny Mobile, Jenny Motion. Then I'll click OK. After that, I'll click OK again. So once I'm done with this, I'll again click on Jenny Motion. And now this time, if you see over here, after I click on this Jenny Motion Device Manager, it has brought me to this window where it's showing me my device. So I'll choose this device over here. I'll click on Start. And this time it will just start my Jenny Motion device. So guys, as you can see, Jenny Motion is successfully running on my system and this time I've started Jenny Motion not from the Jenny Motion software, but this time I've started Jenny Motion from the Android Studio itself. Now, once Jenny Motion is installed, let us just check the output for this program, the change text program again. So if I click on the play button, this time again a device manager will open, but this time it will show me a Jenny Motion option as well. Now currently it's showing me the OnePlus One over here because I've connected my phone to my laptop and the second thing that it's showing me is Engineer's Dream and this is the Jenny Motion device. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and click on Engineer's Dream over here. I'll click OK. And if you guys would have noticed it was not showing me the Android virtual device because I have actually closed down the Android virtual device during the installation of Jenny Motion. So if you see over here guys, the application has been installed on my Jenny Motion virtual device and this time if I click on change the above code, you can see the code gets changed over here. The harder you work, the luckier you get. And as you would have noticed, this was very quick. You click on the button, you get the output instantaneously. Similarly, if I close this up, okay, Jenny Motion will close this stuff very fast. Again, if I click on the options button, I have all these things that I've opened previously. So I'll just close all of them one by one the interface is very good the functionalities are very smooth okay that's why Jenny Motion is perhaps recommended as one of the fastest 
emulators in the world currently you know as a matter of fact for statistics some people say it's almost three times faster than a normal virtual device so in the meantime if you like this video please feel free to hit the like button and if you want to learn android from scratch please hit the subscribe button at the bottom thank you guys this is dinesh here and i'll catch you in the next video